I started to let go of everything I know and follow the river into the flow. I washed off yesterday's all down the drain and started looking forward even when it rains. What an indulgence to have people listen to you play music. My neighbors certainly have had to <laughs> deal with it. But. I cry, the river of tears turns into a sea of fear. The rain washes away yesterdays and everything. I don't know about you guys, but I've never known what the rules are after a breakup. Ooh, ooh, ah. like, I don't know when can you talk to the person, or do you? Hey Mike, what you got in your hand? So I'm going to play some songs. This is what you've gotten yourself involved in. The second set, we have a special guest, so he came all the way from Brentwood. And we have people here from, from Chicago and Los Angeles and Alameda, <laughs> San Rafael. So this is a song that's um, from the voice of all the women I dated before recovery. Some of their thoughts and feelings about themselves and me. And I'm calling it the good and the bad. And so here it goes. I wish that you were different. I wish that you were well. I wish that you were sober And I wish that I could tell I wanted something different Something that I never had I wanted someone to love all of me The good and the bad Good and the bad Oh so much to offer I have somewhere to be It may seem unbelievable I'm not afraid of anything I wanted something different, something that I never had I wanted someone to love all of me, the good and the bad Good and the bad Stay warm. I hope you can grow out of it long before you're torn. I pray that someone carries you. I pray you won't fall down. I pray that someone marries you and turns you upside down. I wanted something different, something that I never had. I wanted someone to love all of me, the good and the bad. Good and the bad Good and the bad Good and the bad Thank 
you. Thank you. So I went to Spirit Rock a couple years ago, and it was a Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. And it was a three-day weekend, meditation, retreat. And we listened to sermons, MLK's sermons, and it was very inspirational. And so on my drive home, in silence, these words kind of came to me, and I got home and I wrote this very simple, what I think of as a kind of a spiritual anthem. So, this is the lamb and the lion. Supply, but first I must sing to the angels in heaven who fought for the king. Where I must go, I can hardly see. Let your thunderous roll be my light, be my spring. Must we carry the cross to the promised land again? The lamb and the lion, their hearts in your hand. Oh, carry me away, my blood turned into wine. Communion, confession, no enemy lines. Oh. Where do we go? When the bullets fly, where do we go? When the crying starts, where do we go? When no one is looking, sound all the trumpets, see into the wars. This one and that one, no violence, no more. Are the seeds to the tree Only love in the end Can set everyone free Only love in the end Can set everyone free Only love in the end Can set everyone free I wanted to fly, but first I must sing To the great one, the last one, the almighty king Be the dream you want to see Only love in the end can set everyone free only love in the end can set everyone free. Only love in the end can set everyone free. Thank you. Thank you. So, I, I'm in recovery. I don't know if anybody knew that. And uh, we're all better off for it, by the way. And um, I meet with a sponsor every other week. And I was telling him about a, a relapse dream that I had. And it involved the infamous Jody. You guys remember Jody. <laughs> and so here I am, this kid from Concord. You know, this very you know, simple suburb very conservative upbringing and then at 18 I go to Los Angeles <laughs> and quickly met Jody and we were like nitro and glycerin I have a scar above my left eyebrow from her she hit me with a video cassette <laughs> that's supposed to be funny 
So I was telling my sponsor about this dream, and I was saying it was like looking at a mirror and seeing through to the other side. And uh, he said, that's kind of cool. You should write about it. And so I did. And so imagine you're in this, this bar, dimly lit. Everyone's a stranger. But of course, everyone loves each other. And there's Jody in this tight red satin dress with all this Asian embroidery all over it. There's a dragon down the side of her thigh in this dress. And there I am. And so I call this the other side of the mirror. this next song is um, I lifted it from Alex our, our time together you know you see me scribble things down and 
this next song is a, a whole lot of that. And Alex has been a big part of my life the last year plus. He's a part of our meditation group that meets here. So I'm glad you're here. And I love you. And this one's called Turn Yourself Into Water. You were not abandoned You belong to the world Absolutely letting go Is all you really need to know What are your motives? And do you want something in return To take away the lonely and kill the empty spaces inside I do. You can turn yourself into water And go places no one has been You can take the shape of what you enter And sink real deep and start again Start again, start again Start again, start again I step into the path of the arrow That one day will end my life I walk, I take my time and breathe The path may take a century I live, I love, I laugh, and I sing And I feel everything I give and give and give and give I see now how I'm meant to live I can turn myself into water And go places no one has been can't take the shape of what I enter And sink real deep and start again I can turn myself into water And go places no one has been I can't take the shape of what I enter And sink real deep and start again Start again, start again, start again Start again, start again, start again. Ah, ah. One must sing divine words. Divine woods underneath Oh One must sing Divine ones Death Divine woods underneath To be free To be free places no one has been we can take shape of what we enter and sink real deep and start again we can turn ourselves into water and go places no one has been we can take shape of what we enter 
and sink real deep and start again. Start again, start again, start again, oh start again, start again, start again, start again, oh start So growing up in Concord, um, there were a couple guys I used to pal around with. <laughs> and the first kid I met was Todd Scow. And my parents signed me up for the local swim club and a very active mother there, Bonnie Scow. <laughs> we were introduced to her and found out that Todd lived around the corner from me. And that was the summer after third grade. And we became very close friends. He had a paper route, and I was his uh, little Mexican helper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Todd and I see each other, what, maybe once, twice a year. But it's like no time has passed. And then, and there's my other friend, Shaquille Ahmed. There he is. And we met, we met in middle school, but we really got to know each other in high school and beyond. And there's another guy in my life who I uh, got to know while we were wrestling psychotic kids to the floor at a place called Macaulay Institute, St. Mary's Hospital in San Francisco back in 1995. And that guy is Steve Sherman, who's right there. He's the first call I make when I'm breaking down. And he was the guy who picked me up from rehab to take me home. Something all three of these guys have in common is that they like you too, the band. Green light, 7-Eleven, you stop in for a pack of cigarettes. You don't smoke, don't even want to. Hey now, check your change. Dressed up like a car crash, your wheels are Turn in butcher upside down Say when he hits you You don't mind Because when he hurts you You feel alive Oh, is that what it is? Red light, gray morning You stumble out of a hole in the ground A vampire or a victim It depends on who's around you used to stay in to watch the adverts You could live sync to the talk shows And if you look You look through me And when you talk You talk at me And if I touch you You don't feel a thing If I could stay Then the night would be enough 
stay And the day would keep its trust Stay And the night would give you up Far away so close up with the static and the radio with satellite television you can go anywhere Miami New Orleans London Belfast and Alameda Say with you look, you look at me And if you jump, you just might fall And if I shout, I'll only hear you If I could stay, then the night would give you up Give you a three o'clock in the morning. It's quiet and there's no one around. Just a bang and the clatter as an angel runs ground. Just a bang and the clatter as an angel runs around. There it is. <laughs> so this is a love song. And um, I mean, most of them are. <laughs> but I like this song. I, I, I like it. Um, it. I wrote a lot of songs this summer. And I think a lot of you know why. If you know me on Facebook, you know why. I put up a few videos. <laughs> and uh, I wrote this song about my most recent love. And I like it though because it's, uh, I kind of try to do a 50s kind of thing to it, kind of early 60s rock and roll kind of thing. So we'll see if that comes across. And this is called Baby You Are So Good To Me. I wish we had more I think I spent all day 
Watching you carry it away I love these moments I wish we had more I think I spent all day Watching you carry it away Telling me I'm so handsome and you believe it's real. Sometimes I can't even look at you. Oh! Telling me I'm so handsome and you believe it's real. Sometimes I can't even look at you. I love these moments. I wish we had more. I think I spent all day. Watching you carry it away I love these moments I wish we had more I think I spend all day Watching you carry it away Away Cause baby you are so good to me Baby you are so good Baby you are so good Baby, you are so good. Thank you very much. So I go up to this house in Guerneville. I've been up there about four times. And it has a piano. And I don't play piano. <laughs> and uh, I went up. I went up this summer and I didn't take my guitar because I wanted to do other creative pursuits while I was there. But I was drawn to this piano and so I wrote this, this song on my keyboard. <laughs> and uh, this, is a, this, is a, uh, um, this is a sad one. <laughs> and so, unapologetically sad. But I like it. So I'm going to turn away from some of you, and, and uh, this is called You Dropped a Bomb. i 
I don't know about you guys, but I've never known what the rules are after a breakup. Like, I don't know when can you talk to the person or do you? And if you're someone like me who has attachment issues <laughs> and it's hard to let go of someone, it's a really, really uh, ambiguous place to be. So this is a song about that. And this is called How the Waves Get Parted.
My son wanted to know if I was going to be real nervous about this. I don't know how to talk me into this, but. <laughs> oh, well. Some things you have, some things you have to do. Um, some people in the room don't know that I was adopted. So I was adopted. I was adopted at, well, the first time when I was six months old. And then I went and lived with a family in Richmond until I was three and a half. The uh, woman there died. And so I was put back up on the market and I came into the home of the Tauruses. Do you remember the first thing you said to me when I was sitting on that floor in the Bentley Street house when you came home from work? I don't know, I looked at you and I probably said, oh, give me a break. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I might have, I might have. <laughs> you know, some things you can give back, you know, but I was stuck. <laughs> That's true. It was a life sentence. What you said to me was you knelt down because I was terrified. You know, it was the first day in this home. And Charlie Brown was jumping all over me, dog. And I had this blanket and my two fingers I was sucking. And you knelt down. I can still remember it. And 
you said, we're going to have a lot of fun together. And we have. So, we're going to do a Bruce Springsteen song. Yes. And, you know, he only gave me four lines. <laughs> and, and, and I still haven't memorized them. So, so I, I, I brought this little... How do you put this? this, this is <laughs> anyway, I think I can now. This is a song called If I Should Fall Behind. I modified the lyrics a little bit. But this is a, a song about the three of us. We said we'd walk together Come what may That come the twilight Should we lose our way If as we walk in A hand should slip free I'll wait for you Should I fall behind Wait for me We swore we'd travel side by side We'd help each other stay in stride But each of our steps fall so differently I'll wait for you should I fall behind Everyone dreams of long life and true, but you and I know what this world can do. So let's make our steps clear so the other may see. I'll wait for you. Should I fall behind? Wait for me. There's a beautiful river in the valley ahead. There beneath the old spout, we'll meet again. If we lose each other in the shadow of the evening tree, I'll wait for you. Should I, I fall behind? behind? Wait, wait for me. me. I'll fall wait for you. you. Should I, I fall behind? behind? Wait, wait for me. I'll wait for you. Should I fall, I fall behind, behind wait for me? I'll wait for you, and should I fall behind, wait for me? So I was adopted at six months, and the reason for that was my mother, my birth mother, Gloria, was a drug addict and uh, truly bipolar, and uh, may have been prostituting at the time of my conception, and uh, I was born with a lot of medical problems from in utero drug exposure. And um, 
I cried all the time. And she couldn't take care of me. I've done a lot of journalism to kind of understand the story. And uh, she died of an overdose in a hotel in Richmond, above a liquor store, in a very, very tragic way when she was 38. But I often wonder what, you know, she might say to me, or I don't know, how she would explain things. And so I wrote this song. It's called My Beautiful Boy. I am sorry, my beautiful boy That I left you all alone To cry yourself to sleep And wait all night for me You cried and cried, nothing I could do was ever enough to suit you oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I held you in my arms and it only got worse I put you down, picked up my purse Jumped into a car with a man named John A child house motel to get me gone You scared me, I didn't know what to do so I had to let go of you oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ah, ah, oh. I am sorry my beautiful boy that you'll never know your daddy just one more man who tried to take the best of me he took my soul and gave you to me I never was the same a part of me I gave you up just because you cried I never was the same upon me time You came in my dreams, you wanted me to hold you Cause I'm the only one who could ever console you I took from you what I could never enjoy Love so deep it could cover the moon Wrap my arms around you and heal your wounds Wrap my arms around you and heal your wounds Wrap my arms around you and heal your wounds
That's Hayden. And Hayden is my grand nephew. My niece, Mo uh, Heather and Monique are in the back. And he brought me something that, a little rock that says Serenity. So <laughs> that's very sweet. <laughs> I'll take it. So this is the last one I'm gonna play. And I wrote this song last week when I was in Guerneville. It's not really a song. It's more of a poem, I guess. I cry the river of tears turns into a sea of fear. Washes away yesterdays and everything. Ooh, ooh,
Love more. Be a friend to everything until the end. You were not abandoned You belong to the world Absolutely letting go Is all you really need to know What are your motives? And do you want something in return To take away the lonely and kill the empty spaces inside You can turn yourself into water And go places no one has been You can take the shape of what you enter And sink real deep and start again Start again, start again Start again, start again